tonight, a local activist says she is running for U.S. Senate. Yes, Pamela Moses made national headlines when she was sentenced to six years in prison for illegally registering to vote. She admitted to, admitted to registering despite a felony conviction, but said probation officials told her she was eligible to vote. That case was eventually dropped, clearing the way for Moses to launch her campaign today. WRG Shay Arthur talked with Moses about her bid for office, and Shay, what did she have to say? Hey, Greg. Hey, Stephanie. Well, I talked to Moses as she told me she was on her way to file a petition to run as an independent. But tonight she's asking for support from Republicans and Democrats. This is the campaign for change. Speaking outside the federal courthouse in Nashville, Pamela Moses announced she's running for a U.S. Senate seat. In Tennessee, every day we witness tragedies and tragic consequences due to poverty, inequality, failing education systems. It's time to heal our people. Some of her platforms include health care reform, supporting veterans affairs, mental health support and criminal justice reform. Beyond making international headlines following her voting case, she is an activist in the Memphis community and founded the Memphis chapter of Black Lives Matter. But there were questions about what political party Moses would pull a petition for. And I did pull a Republican petition for this candidacy. I was a Democrat for 30 years, but in the interest of the culture shift in which you see here, real people, I have conservative values, but I'm progressive enough to submit my independent petition because I believe that independence is what this country needs. We need people more focused on the issues and the causes and not the parties. Stephanie Gregg, a spokesperson with the Tennessee Secretary of State's office, did confirm that she did file a petition to run as an independent. They also said to appear on the ballot, you need 25 signatures on your petition. The qualifying deadline is noon Thursday, April 4th. Now, according to the state, having a felony conviction does not hinder a Tennessee resident from running for U.S. Senate. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.